What's up guys, today is Saturday, May 4th, also known as Star Wars Day, also known as Free Comic Book Day, and what a day it was. I spent the day working at my LCS, Infinity Flux here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, handing out free comic books to everybody who came in. It was a big day, it was a busy day, so many people came into the store, got so many free comics. At any given point in time, there were four or maybe five of us handing out free comic books, and it was still a packed house, and it was awesome. But outside of all that, I still brought home a big old stack of free comic books for myself. Now, I read about 30 of the free comic book day books about two weeks ago, but I still had to bring home this stack for myself, so I thought I'd go through them real quick. Starting with Marvel, starting with the Spider-Man Ultimate Universe book, a really cool Spider-Man story with art by Ryan Stegman. And then, of course, the Ultimate Universe story has some big implications for the Ultimates book coming very soon. I also had to pick up the Blood Hunt and Uncanny X-Men book. Of course, we have read Blood Hunt number one at this point, but this is a nice little prelude into that. And then our first look at the post Krakoan era X-Men, so that was really cool. As for DC, had to pick up the Absolute Power book, a little bit of a prelude into the Absolute Power event coming soon, and a few preview pages from Absolute Power number one. And then my favorite one of all of them is the Energon Universe from Image. This is a big, big book if you are a fan of the Energon Universe books. Uh, there's a Transformers story, a Void Rival story, a G.I. Joe story, and they are all super fantastic. I also had to pick up Mad, because this is really, really funny. It has a mix of uh, old Mad strips and also some new stuff as well. Really, really funny stuff. I really enjoyed that one. Also had to grab Hellboy. This is just a nice one and done Hellboy story, just like most Hellboy stories are. And this was really fun, really entertaining. Also had to pick up the number one book that we gave out today, Star Wars Young Jedi Adventures with art by my buddy Andy Dugan. He did the art and the colors on the cover, and then he did the art on the inside of the book as well. He was actually there at my shop today signing these so we would hand these to customers and then they would go get them signed he was doing remarks a lot of happy customers there it was such a cool thing to do and to see also had to pick up the johnny quest book this is really fun has three different stories has a prelude to a new johnny quest book coming out i believe in july and then reprinted a few pages from the first issue of thundercats and also a few pages from the first issue of space ghost that just came out uh, this week and it was so good and then i had to pick up the stories from the atlas comics library i really enjoyed this one this is atlas comics marvel before it was marvel the first story in here is written by stan lee back in the 50s and actually kind of still holds up today and five other pre-code 1950s horror stories are really good stuff there also the overstreet guide to collecting comics this is actually a really good book if you're brand new to collecting comics it talks about how to store comics bags and boards and boxes it talks about what to look for in a comic shop it emphasizes to buy what you like and not what other people think you should get so really really good here and then of course teenage mutant ninja turtles who is night watcher a preload into the new teenage mutant ninja turtles night watcher book that we're going to get pretty soon flash gordon number zero a prelude into the new flash gordon book coming later this summer i believe in july this is really really good had to get Gachamon number zero just because it's Gachamon, Battle of the Planets, all that kind of stuff. Just thought it would be really cool to have. I Lie Popeye number one. I don't know if you guys got this or not, but this is so much fun. Popeye meets Dragon Ball Z. A little bit of One Punch Man, a little bit of One Piece thrown in. Uh, Popeye goes manga, basically, and it was really, really fun. Great artwork, great colors. And then Conan, Battle of the Blackstone, a prelude to the next big story that they're going to be telling in the current Conan series, a big story called Battle of the Blackstone. This one is awesome. But the fun doesn't stop there. I had to pick up one extra goodie. This is the free comic book day exclusive Deadpool blanket. I like having blankets here. My son loves blankets. And, you know, even though I'm not the biggest Deadpool fan, I could not pass up something like this. So, I'm very excited to have this as well. I'm sure it's going to keep me warm. And that's it, guys. A great haul from a fantastic free comic book day. I'm going to make another video later talking about my full experience working at my shop for free comic book day. And in the days leading up to it, there was so much work uh, going on at my store to make today fun and exciting and the biggest it's ever been. And it all paid off in spades. It was amazing. It's been an amazing week. It was an amazing day. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to do it again next year. So guys, thanks for watching. Remember, life is short. Like what you like, ignore what you don't, and let me know what you picked up for free comic book day.